everybody, welcome back to the channel. FEMA, President Biden, and Vice President Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris has failed the hurricane victims. Why do I say that? I did a video earlier this week and I detailed how FEMA spent one over a billion dollars of the FEMA funds that are set aside for disaster relief. And they use that money to house, feed, and clothe the elite over or oh, well over 20 million people that they have flown and have walked through the southern border. And you say, how did they fly into the country? Because of that app that the Biden administration came up with where illegals could process their claims on the app, get on an a, a uncharted plane and fly into the United States. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's been documented. It's out there. Do your research. You'll see it. And in New York, they were given, you know, food stamp cards, $4,000 in food stamps and $3,000 in cash. Undoubtedly, that money came from FEMA, over a billion dollars. And you say, why are the American people suffering in North Carolina, in the rural parts of North Carolina, where there is no FEMA? There is no internet. There is no cell phone service. Because this administration of Biden and Harris has failed the American people. She did a speech the other day. We're going to give you $750. Really? When my whole home has been destroyed, my car is gone, all of my possessions are gone, I have no cell phone access. I have no internet access. So how can I physically apply for the $750? Oh, you thought they were just going to hand out a check to everybody? No, you have to apply for it. So how is a person who has lost everything is going to be able to get internet access to apply for the $750? Explain that to me. And don't tell me we don't have the money. When we printed over a hundred billion dollars and sent to Ukraine, we siphoned off a billion dollars to give to the illegals, but we don't have any money. This is one time I would say, print some, I was about to say something I shouldn't have said, print some money and get these people the help that they need because they are an American citizen. They're the ones who need the help. They have paid their taxes. They have paid into this federal government month after month, year after year. And FEMA was set up primarily to help in situations like this. Way back in the 70s, FEMA was set up. Primarily hurricanes and uh, out in California when you had earthquakes and it destroyed a lot of stuff, FEMA was supposed to come in, get set up and start issuing out supplies and helping those people in time of need. I mean, FEMA should have everything, bulldozers, uh, generators, helicopters, trucks, or, or they contract all this stuff out to help these people. All that stuff should be readily available to FEMA. So when situations like this happen, they got boots on the ground prior to the hurricane hitting, and they're ready to go. When it passes by, they can get in and start helping the people. Florida is better situated to help their people because they have to deal with hurricanes for the entire hurricane season. North Carolina, way outside of the sphere of primarily hurricanes, was not prepared for this type of catastrophic hurricane. Well, the aftermath of a hurricane, the high winds and the rain that came along with it after it passed through Florida. And I guarantee you 100% None of their insurance policies covers natural disasters, especially floods. You have to have flood insurance in order to be covered. If something happens in my home, it has anything to do with water. I had to add that type of policy to my insurance policy to be covered. Like if the city backs up and it comes into my house without that additional addendum added into my uh, homeowner's insurance, I would not be covered. So she marches in there, gives a little speech. We're going to give you $750, but you got to apply for it. <clears throat> Elon Musk tried to 
set up Starlink to get cell phone service. They told him to get out of the airspace to clear it. Booty Judge. Biden, it's is you can forget him. He's he's done. He's cooked. His brain is cooked. Harris is flying around trying to become the next. Well, she is president right now because Biden is cooked. And she is doing the worst job of any president I've ever known in my lifetime. But everybody wants to vote for her because she's quote unquote black and she's a female. And you're not not recognizing the disaster that is going on right in front of your eyes, right there in North Carolina with the FEMA. Yes, they have FEMA on the ground, but FEMA is not doing a the job they should be doing because they don't have the resources, because they're giving all the money away. I showed you the video yesterday where Mallorca said, if there's another, there's another hurricane coming, we don't have the funds. Why not, Mallorca? You had them before. Oh, you gave them away to the illegals that you're allowed to come through the southern border. I get it. Why on earth will we put this, this type of administration back into power? Please explain that to me as an American citizen. Please explain to me why you will put a Democrat back in office right now with how they have handled the people of North Carolina and Florida. And Florida pretty much done it on themselves. They done it themselves because they're used to doing it. But you got people coming, individual citizens from the outside the state coming in to rent, give supplies to these people. You got President Trump on the ground giving supplies. You got a congressman who's not even, Corey Mills, who's not even a, a part of this particular area that was affected, is giving supplies to this area. And where's FEMA? Oh, we're going to give you $750, but you got to apply for it. How can I apply for it when I don't have a home, internet, or cell phone access? Instead of just opening up the checkbook and giving them the necessary funds they need to rebuild, to get supplies to them, forget about the process. Get the people the aid that they need. Don't worry about the paperwork. FEMA's got it. That's what they should have said. We're going to take care of you bottom line up front. Don't worry about paperwork. We know you had a home. We're going to help you rebuild that home. If need be, we'll print it. We'll do whatever it takes to take care of the American people. That's what they should have said. But we've given our money away to the illegals. Sorry, we'll give you $750. Okay, I'm going to stop my rant. I just had to get that off my chest. It's despicable how our federal government treats the American people and how they have rolled out the red carpet for the illegals and given them all of what they need to survive here in this country. And the American people, North Carolina, are suffering. And some of them have yet to be reached or yet to have found their dead bodies. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you could like this video, hit the like button. Please share this video. If this is your first time here to a retired vet show, please consider subscribing. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.